permissible actions, disliked actions, and invalidators of salah. First, permissible acts in salah. Walking in salah due to some need with the condition that one does not turn away from the qibla. Carrying children during the salah, killing a scorpion or a snake during the salah, looking to the right or left for some need while in salah, crying in salah, saying subhanallah for men and clapping for females, reminding the imam who has forgotten an ayah of Quran, pointing with the finger or hand to indicate that you are in prayer to someone who enters and greets you. So one makes one's palm face down and the back of the hand face upwards, using some sort of hand signal to indicate something to someone due to there being a serious need for the one praying to alert them to something, praising Allah if one sees that which calls for it, spitting to one's left, and preventing a person from passing in front of you while you are praying. Secondly, the disliked actions in salah. Entering the prayer while one is distracted, having their thoughts elsewhere or being in a state which distracts himself or his imam, like holding back urine, wind or defecation, being in a state of hunger or thirst, or when food which he wishes to eat is present, or he is looking at that which distracts him from salah. Useless movements meaning doing that which is contrary to being tranquil and which affects one's concentration in salah, for example moving without a need or playing with one's beard, clothing or watch. Cracking one's knuckles or putting the fingers of one hand in between those of the other hand and similar acts. Looking by moving one's face left or right without any need with the condition that the body does not turn away from the qibla, otherwise in this case the salah would be invalidated. Putting one's hands on one's hips just above one's hips since it is the action of the Jews. Covering one's mouth and nose in prayer. Rolling up one's garments, sleeves or the likes. Tying one's hair back, gathering it or braiding it for men, as this would resemble a man whose hands are tied up behind his back. This is because when he prostrates, his hair does not prostrate with him. Spitting in the direction of the qibla or to one's right side. Looking up at the sky. Closing one's eyes, except for a need and stretching one's arms flat on the ground when in prostration. Third, the invalidators of salah. Performing something which breaks one of the conditions of salah, like the occurrence of that which breaks one's state of ritual purity, or intentionally exposing the parts of the body that should be covered, turning the whole body away from the qibla, or intending to stop the prayer when one is in the middle of it, intentionally intending to leave a pillar or obligatory aspect of salah, moving a lot if the movements are not those of the salah and there is no need for them, like unnecessarily walking or moving much, laughing out aloud, intentionally speaking, intentionally eating or drinking, intentionally adding a rak'ah or pillar, or intentionally making the final salam before the imam.